God is strong and God is a brave man. Save people from evil in the world. Just like Hercules, many service members that fight have put their lives on the line in order for Americans to have their freedom and live the American dream. Many military men and women fight for this country and they deserve the benefits they are receiving and more. Some of the be main benefits are compensation, education, training, and insurance and retirement. Compensation is the same across all bases. It's how much you get paid and uh, it's usually based on salary. Um, it's also based, uh, based on the rank, your rank and what, how much time you put in service. Um, there's special pays. One of the special pays is hardship duty pay, which is where the locations are um, not as good as they are in the U.S. Um, and there's also hostile fire pay, which is if you're in the area of fire, missiles, or explosions. Um, there's incentive pay, which is unusual assignments like uh, post or um, extended deployments. There's hazardous pay, which is performing flying duty um, that is dangerous. And then there's tuition. Mm -hmm. of the cost of tuition or expenses. It also helps educate, uh, help educate the service members and um, they pay up to a maximum of $4,000 uh, per fiscal and a fiscal relates to like the government taxes or the treasury. Um, it's hard to manage but the military provides service members uh, the opportunity to enroll in courses at accredited colleges, universities, junior colleges, and vocational tech schools. Um, they can get anything from certifications to actual degrees. And you can go as far as you want to in a degree. And they will pay up for that. Um, there's a cap on credit hours, $4 per hour. And they also have the post-9-11 GI Bill, uh, which became effective on August 1st, 2009. Um, it's eligible for those, for those who signed up after September 10th, 2011 and they have to put in at least 90 days and they're allowed to get the post 9 11 GI Bill. Um, they also give you, for education, they give you $1,000 per year for books and supplies. Um, it's beneficial for students to attend private and out of state also. Uh, the post 9 11 Bill also has the ability to share educational benefits with family members such as your spouse and children, and it also includes stepchildren. Um, another education benefit would be going to a college fund program, which helps give more money to you after the GI Bill. There's loan replacement programs, and they help pay off uh, college loans. They help you finance your money. Um, for the Army, they give you $65,000 a year, and the Air Force, they only give you $10,000. And the Navy, they give you $65,000. Um, there's also a college called Service Opportunity. And that's uh, while you're deployed, you can gain education while serving over there. Um, and you know, most of it's online. There's rare that there's a school on deployment. Um, mm -hmm. And there's a lot of training that is involved in the military, and it's also beneficial. There's instruction led, and you can get college credit from that. Um, it's a real person in front of you, so it's kind of like a classroom and it just helps students succeed. Um, there's also distance learning, which um, is mostly online, it's computer tech. Uh, for the example, like the tank, they put you in that, like it's just like kind of like a simulation, simulator. simulator. And, yeah, you just learn that. Um, for simulators, there's, uh, there are realistic training components and they help you practice real life skills and the decision making. You keep going and come back to This is a MIG 29 simulator. And that's good. Yeah. And that's if you're really going to drive, but that's the simulator. And then you go back to um, There's also role playing and training, which is medical training and combat training. So, like, if you do combat training, they do like a fake uh, scene where you put like a machine recording uh, smoke machines and strobe lights 
and it just helps uh, create like the sights and sound, the chaos of combat situations. There's also AIT training, which is advanced individual training. It's a college you go to, and you get uh, college credit for that also. And then the insurance one. For the insurance, there's healthcare, which is TRICARE, and you, if you're the actual member, then you get free dental and medical, and then you can also give it to your spouse and children. Um, there's life insurance, which helps protect families from stability. Um, active duty members may select up to $4,000 in the SGLI, which is a life insurance group. Um, there's also be uh, VA ben benefits. It provides dozens of federal benefits to vets. Um, there's a food savings plan, which is similar to the 401k. It has several funds in which they can invest. Service members don't pay taxes on their investment earnings until they begin to withdraw from retirement. Retirement, um, there's two different options uh, to receive your retirement. You can receive $30,000 after 15 years and then receive a uh, about 40% of his or her highest pay. And then the op other option is not receiving any money until 15 years and receiving about 50% of his or high her highest pay. And there's world travel, 30 days of vacation. Each year is compared to the average 14. Um, you can book free flights when seats are available on um, open routine uh, flights, and they're a great way to score unexpected vacations or travels home. We are currently in 16 bases or 16 countries around the world, and we're both domestic, domestic and international. And we have full use of facilities such as pools, gyms, and bowling alleys. Um, there's also housing. Uh, Department of Defense helps serve service members providing housing options both on and off base. There's three different types of housing. Um, one of them is the privatized housing. It's safe, renovated homes, and you will see your BHA, which is your basic housing allowance. Um, and then there's government-owned homes, which is overseas, all of them are overseas. So you don't have to pay anything, you just live there. And then there's also the single or unoccupied housing, which is Un unmarried service members or married service members that who are separated from their families live there. It's also known as like barracks or dorms. Mm. And then there's a lot of discounts and perks with the army or with the military, uh, such as commissaries. Those are uh, military stores that sell items close to cost, and only about five percent is charged for uh, store maintenance and employee wages. Um, there's also automotive, motorcycle, baby, or maternity. Clothing, dining, and park attractions that you can get military discounts on. Um, each service branch has a moral welfare and uh, recreation department that help with uh, personal travel also. So you get discounts on travel. And there's also on-base on -base entertainment such as gyms, movie theaters, bowling alleys, and parks. And they also host uh, 1,200 exclusive entertainment shows. So that's like any famous somebody coming and then we'll, you can go there for free. And the, art, or the military also has an armed forces sport, which they have 22 different um, sports in that, in that league. Um, many service members have it much more different and much more difficult than the average American. Having the knowledge of this information will help you decide if the military is the right choice for you and if you, and could also help if your family member is a part of the military. That way you, that way you can be more understanding of what they say. All military personnel deserve all these benefits because we wouldn't be where we are as a nation without the